Hello dear students. Today, as we all know, India and many other countries around the world are facing COVID-19 pandemic. And we the citizens of India are following social distancing to prevent ourselves and others from this disease. And here our school has thought to provide the learners sitting at home with knowledge. So here our Priya Huja of Northern House India Public School is here to give you knowledge about maths. And my class is class 4th. So I request all of you to have a pen and a copy to note down the important points explained during the explanation. Thank you. So today we are going to start with Roman numerals. Do you know what are Roman numerals? To get an answer to this, first we should know what are Hindu Arabic numerals. Let us read about them. The method of writing all numbers using 10 numerals, that is 0 to 9, started in India and then spread around the world by Arabs. These are called Hindu Arabic numerals. And now we are going to start with Roman numerals. The Romans used seven letters as numerals. So the numerals are as follows and the values are given on the right hand side. I represents 1, B represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500 and M represents 1000. The thing to note here is that 0 is not represented in Roman numerals. Students, to write Roman numerals, we should know such rules to write Roman numerals. The rules are as follows. The first rule is the numerals I, X, C, M can be repeated up to three times. They cannot be repeated more than three times. The value of repeated numerals gets added. If the numerals are repeated, they are added. Like I represents 1. I and I two times gets added and the answer is 2. I, I, I gets added and the answer is 3. Similarly, C is 100. Double C is 200. Triple C is 300. Now, we move on to rule number 2. A smaller numeral gets added to a greater numeral on its left. What does this mean? That if a smaller numeral is there and a greater numeral is put before it, what do we do? We add both the numerals like V1. What do we do? V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. So 5 plus 1 that is 6. Now next example XV. X is 10 and V is 5. We add both of them, we get 15. Now the next example, X, 1, 1. 1, 1 is smaller and X is greater. So what do we do? We add 10 plus 1 plus 1 and the answer is 12. Now heading on to rule number 3. A smaller numeral gets subtracted from the greater numeral on its right. That means if a smaller numeral is there, and after that, a greater numeral is there. What do we do? We subtract the smaller numeral from the greater numeral. Like I, V. I is the smaller numeral and V is the greater numeral. That is on the right hand side. So what we will do? We will subtract 1 from 5. That is answer is 4. And the next example is X, L. As you know, X is smaller and L is greater. So what do we do? We will minus 10 from 50 and the answer is 40. Similarly, I, X. What we will do? 10 minus 1 that is 9. Now, we have rule number 4. A smaller numeral between two greater numerals gets subtracted from the numeral on its right. What does this mean? This means that if a smaller numeral is there between two greater numerals, like I is there between X and B. So what we will do? We will subtract I from B as 10 plus 5 minus 1 gives you 14. The next example X1 X. 1 is there between X and X. So I will be subtracted from the X. 
on its right hand side. 10 plus 10 minus 1. The answer is 19. This is a practice exercise for today for Roman numerals. You can write down these questions in your notebooks and solve the following. Question number 1. Write the Roman numerals for the following. A. 6 B. 28 C. 39 D. 50 Question number 2. Write the Hindu Arabic numerals for the following. A. V. I. I. B. X. I. V. C. X. X. I. D. X. I. I. Question number 3. Here you have to match this column with this column. Match the Roman numerals with Hindu Arabic numerals. A. V. B. X. I. I. C. L. X. D. X. 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 Number 1. 60. Number 2. 5. Number 3. 30. Number 4. 12. 